Those of us that raise livestock today in our fast-moving society need to make sure we spend enough time to analyze their well-being. And as you analyze big groups like this, it takes a while just to stand and observe, watch how they move, how they act, are they inquisitive, are they the ones standing back in the corner, maybe the ears droop down, other things to note in this as far as the gunging pattern. In this pen you can see it's towards the back, towards the outside of the barn of the church. The second trait that uh, we want to emphasize is that of sound. You can hear how the pigs move around, a little squealing. On the positive side, no coughing. And just the sound that they're having fun. They're enjoying the environment they're in. As you observe the animals daily, the barn or the facility establishes kind of a normal smell as you enter in. If something is different, whether it would be a light bulb with dust on it that's getting hot, you pretty quickly can pick it up as an observer and decide what changes need to be made. Touch would be the fourth sense that uh, livestock observers need to consider. And by touch I mean, you know, is, is the humidity too high, is there too much moisture in the barn? And you can almost do this more by just actually touching the sidewall or the ceiling. And if there is a great amount of condensation, airflow is probably a little too low. Taste is the next sense, although probably the least important as we think about observation of animals on a daily basis. Uh, we directly just don't have the use of our taste buds. The final sense that we work with is one that uh, we don't talk about very much, but humans are the only species on Earth that can evaluate and consider time. And by that I mean, if you see an animal that maybe isn't acting quite right, you know, do you have a day to treat it or to move it, or is it a matter of hours? To the pig, there is no time. It becomes a matter of how their metabolism is reacting to the current situation. Some of them will deteriorate quicker than others. So again, the quicker you observe them and see them. Finally. Please remember, we have a big responsibility taking care of our critters, whether it's one or whether it's thousands. So take care, think about them, and always be safe.